Hello, welcome back to Beauty Program. Today I have another update for my Panda Palette Challenge. Uh, there are quite a lot of changes and as you know, I always write down what I use up, what I hate pan on, what I get new, you know, all the good jazz and this post-it is full. I think we're just gonna get started. I start off with the new one that I got. This is by Tees with 3 E Z uh, from the Spectrum of Stars collection in Golden Fudge. And I got this in a look fantastic box. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, I've been using this quite a lot. So the thing is, if you use a brush that's stiff, you shouldn't, uh, you should be careful with it because it's not um, pressed in very hard. It's like, it's very creamy and buttery. And if you just go in a bit too much, you have a huge chunk falling off, which is what happened to me. As you can see, there's a bit missing. And I mean, the color is great, but you just have to be careful with it. And I'm happy I got this because I've never heard of teas before. And now that I got this, I mean, the packaging is amazing as well. I really like it. I'm going start with my Kiko palette and I use two shadows up. So I use up the white champagne-ish color and I use up the golden shadow as well. And, you know, it's empty. <laughs> as as you may know, I don't, I didn't have a lot of luck with this palette. Uh, with Kiko in general this year, it just, it was horrible. But it is empty and I'm happy it's empty because, um, yeah, I I just didn't have a lot of luck. Then my Meat Matte palette. I I have a huge, not really huge progress, but a lot of changes. I'm sorry if the light is changing. So this is what my palette looks like now. And as you can see, there's a lot of change, basically. So um, we're just gonna start off with the Matte Abdul, which was a very dark gray. I mixed that one with one from this palette. This is the All About the Nudes palette by Essence. I mixed it with the dark brown here. So I used up two shades and I got two new ones, um, two new eyeshadows, this darker here. And as you can see, there's only one, so I already used one up. And I hit pen on this. I used up two shadows, mix them together, finish one up, and I only have one left. Which, which still means that my total is one eyeshadow less, because I used one up. And then this I hit pen on, and then I used the Matte Lombardi, which was a well, yellow mustard tone. Uh, and Matte Hung, which was the one that I was actually working on the grayish and um, there were a lot of gray shadows left as you can probably see from the back it's a lot of gray and brown and just yeah i mixed these two together so i use up two as well and i got these two here and as you can see i pen on that one so in total i use up four shadows got four new ones and use one of them up and i also had pen on matte sink which is a perfect peachy brownish color just for your crease and then this Matt Malo, I'm still working on is white. So these two I can actually work much better with than the other grayish browns that were in this palette. This is a very nice brown color. It has a bit of shimmer in, not too much. So I can use it in my eyebrows, I can use it in my crease, I can use it to darken up my V. Just I can use it for everything. And then this light brown is a perfect crease shadow as well, or for my eyebrows, depending on what I want to do. And I just feel like I can get way more out of this palette now that I've mixed them than before. Because before, I mean you you know me and you see my videos, I was so over and done with this palette. I was sick and tired of it and now, I mean, it is actually way more pleasant to look at and just easier to work with, at least I think. I hope I can finish this one up before the new year, that would be amazing because once you actually mix shadows and once you repress them, um, they're actually very easy to use up because they're not um, pressed in that hard, they're just very loosely and just, like you, had a, you have a lot of fallout and kick up and everything. I'm working on it, I just, I only use up one shadow considering all of it, but I hit pan on so many more and I'm very happy with it. And also, I finally got to use this Essence palette because I've, I've never used it before. Um, I got this from Candy. Have I said that I got this from Candy? I got this from Candy and yeah, I never used it before, but the colors are gorgeous. This is a nice highlighting color. Maybe like these four might be perfect blending colors. Then this one is a nice crease and this has a bit of shimmer in, which is a bit darker and the palette is very nice to look at. So I might use that in the future. I'm not sure. I'm kind of sick and tired of all the neutral colors recently. Like, I love new eyeshadow and just brown. Lately, I'm just sick and tired of it. Maybe because this palette, you know, again, I will show you. It is it is a lot of neutral and a lot of dark and brown and just huge pants as well. And just, just very hard to use up and I'm getting sick and tired of it. So I might as well use my um, NYX Quad, which has a burgundy color in. Is that, is that what you call it? A burgundy color and also a gold. And just it's, it's just nicer for me to use. I don't know. We'll see. So that was my last update for this year. Let me know how your projects are going. Um, I mean, I, I do good. I currently have only 81 shadows left. That is palette shadows and single shadow. I started with 120 something, so I'm doing good. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if not already. Don't forget to click the little bell button so you can notified whenever I upload. And see you next video.